hi love welcome back in today's class we are making this simple ring top if you are new to this channel welcome to the family please subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you my darling thank you my love for always coming back to us let's get right into class You would need a metal ring, a three balls of 40 gram, acrylic yarn, stitch marker, tape measure, and also a 4.5 millimeter hook. We are going to work this top into two parts. So first you make your slip knots and you are going to chain 80. If you are doing for a size small, you consider chaining 75. It all depends on how long you want your strands, your back strands to be. If you don't want it too long, then don't make long chain. So make your 80 foundation chains. After your 80 chains, you are going to chain one making it 81 you are going to yarn over and make half double crochet skip two and make half double crochet in the following stitches and this is how you work half double crochet yarn over insert in your yarn over you have three yarn over and pull through all so work your half double crochets until the end of the row At the end of the row, you are going to chain two, turn over your work, and work half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you are going to chain two, turn over your work, and repeat row two. Work half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you are going to chain two, Turn over your work and now you are going to work half double crochet but you are going to count 30 because we are going to start working the bra part so take your stitch marker count 30 from the end of the row 3 so this is row 4 so count 30 and place your stitch marker on the 31st chain 31st stitch to start with row 4 you are going to chain 1 turn your work and we are going to work slip stitches until where our stitch marker is but know that when you are doing for the other parts the other side of this top you are going to start making your half double crochets here until you have 30 but since we i want you to know how to start from here so to start from here you see you count your 30 and put your stitch mark on the 31st but when you are doing the other side just make your 31 half double crochets so now we are going to make slip stitches until we get to where the stitch marker is
at the stitch marker space we are now going to start working our half double crochets until the end of the row so work half double crochets 31 half double crochets and to get your 31 you have to measure underneath your bust the measurements that's what I'm making here so it's 30 so work until the end half double crochet until the end of the row at the end of the row you're going to chain two turn your work and for row five you are going to work half double crochets until where you started your 30 half double crochet where the stitch marker was so you are going to work your 31 half double crochets now for row six you are going to chain two and work half double crochets until the end of the row Now for row 7, you are going to chain 2, turn your work. We are going to start making our decrease. So we are going to decrease in the first half double crochet, decrease in the first 2 stitches. And we keep making half double crochets until the end of the row. You are not decreasing at the end. Row 8, you are going to chain 2 and make half double crochets, no decreasing from the first, but we are going to decrease at the end of the row. And this is how we decrease, half double crochet decrease. And work your last half double crochet for row 9 you are going to chain 2 turn your work you are going to decrease at the first two stitches inside the first two stitches and keep working your half double crochets until the end of the row so you see here is straight but the other side is tilting a bit because of the decreased row. Row 10, you are going to chain 2, turn over your work and work your half double crochets until the end. You are left with 3 stitches at the end and you place your decrease again. decreasing the last three stitches so you decrease in the two stitches and the last stitch you make your half double crochet chain two row 11 we are going to start decreasing as usual in our first two stitches and we are going to make half double crochets until we are left with three stitches at the end and now we are going to start decreasing from the other side from row 11 so up until row 11 is straight now for row 12 you are going to chain two turn your work and we start decreasing on both sides if you are making for a size small start decreasing on the 11th or from the 10th row and if you are making for a size medium consider start decreasing both sides from the 10th and if you are making for a size large 
but it's all individual preferences how thin or thick you want your bra your top so this time you are going to be decreasing both sides until we have five stitches in the middle so keep working your decrease rows on both sides of your work and i'll meet you when i have only five stitches remaining I have five stitches remaining and you can see how the work is forming so now we are not going to decrease again we are going to chain two and work half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row and at the end of the row you are going to chain two and work half double crochet so this is basically the strand so you are going to be repeating five half double crochet in each stitch until you have your desired length i made about 60 rows but you can make less or more if you want to so keep working the strands and i'll meet you when i'm done with my strand At the end of your strand, you are going to chain two, cut and fasten your wick. Go ahead and make, cut and fasten your yarn and sew in all loose end and go ahead and make the other one and I'll meet you when I'm done with my two complete and we join them. This is the other side of my top and we are going to be joining the two parts with a ring metal ring so at this point this is what your work should be looking like and we are going to join the ring to join them together and that is my strand we are going to be attaching the ring inside the first chain six piece the normal rules of no decrease to attach your ring, you are going to make single crochet border around your top until where the normal stitches started or ended from. But to do this, you can decide to make your border from on the strands, but I attached it at the last decrease where we had the five rows so make single crochet two single crochet in each space until you get to row six you are going to pick at row six you are going to pick your ring and just as you are doing your single crochet you are going to make single crochet two single crochet in each space around the ring two single crochets around the ring in each stitch And 
you should be having something like this at the end of your row you are going to chain two cut and fasten your yarn so this is how the ring should be looking like so we've attached the first part and we will do the same exact thing for the second part and you should be having something like this so cut chain two i like to do a few more slip stitches to secure my yarn but if you don't want it that way then you just have to chain two right after you are done attaching your ring and cut and fasten your yarn and sew in all those ends so to the other side we are going to start from the bottom attaching it from the bottom of our work so we are going to start making the two single crochet around our next part of the top from the bottom up so just as you did for the other side you are going to do the same exact thing until the end of the row and when you are done making the two single crochet around the ring you are going to go ahead and make two single crochet borders in each of the decrease row until you get to your five decrease row where your decrease row stopped and that will be all for your work if you want you can make borders around your top if not then you are done if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you've watched up to the point of this please leave us a hard comment it's always nice to know and to see and to read all your comments and if you haven't subscribed please 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 do and if you're a returning subscriber and you've made it until this point you're so amazing darling and also mm, <laughs> i think that's all <laughs> So keep working. I wish you a uh, Merry Christmas. I know it's not Christmas yet, but in advance, if in case you'll be busy on Christmas Day to come and see our videos, then I wish you a Merry Christmas. Stay out of trouble. Stay hydrated until we meet next year. My love, my darling, share the video. And that is all for your top. Until we meet next week, my love, my darling, is bye bye for I decided to do my own vlogmas, but I know it wasn't a success. But I promise that next year, hmm be coming all in fully prepared i'm recording with my phone so i have less space to do vlogmas although i have a lot of video ideas crochet ideas for you all but i know we will do it hopefully next year and so we meet next week i've been saying this for the longest time is bye bye